Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create, save and load configurations using IMGUI and C++. This is perfect for storing settings like checkbox states, sliders and more, making your application more user-friendly and customizable. We will use JSON today. And uh, before starting, please leave a like, subscribe and join the new Discord server down below. Uh, because uh, I'm asking a lot of questions there and video ideas come from there as well. This video idea was uh, suggested in the Discord server. I'll probably leave the message on the screen if I can find it. But uh, without further ado, let's get right into the thing. So, you need to be a bit more careful with this tutorial. It's a bit longer than the ones before because we have three functions to do and also we need to include a library. So, try to be careful. Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna use a JSON library, probably the most popular one. I don't even know how to pronounce it, so it's this one. And we have a json.hpp here. And some includes as well, which I think are in my downloads folder. Let's see. Yeah, so this include.zip as well. So how we include this, it's pretty easy. We go to our example here, or whatever your, where your source code is. I'm working on examples. And uh, we're gonna go and I don't know, let's make a new folder here. Let's do a folder, name it JSON, why not? Inside it, uh, the single include, let's paste the include folder inside it, and also the JSON.hpp. We don't need the JSON uh, FWD. I don't think we need it for this tutorial, we'll see later, but most likely not. So after you have these things here, you can close this, don't really need it. Go to your source, go to the name of the project here, properties, and then where it says vc++ directories, just go here and add it to your include directory. So here, just click on the arrow, edit, bam, and here you're gonna go JSON and then include and select the folder. OK, and then apply. After you've done that, we have one more thing to do. OK, let's include our JSON uh, HPP file now. So include um, JSON, and I think it's going to be something like JSON HPP like this. After that, let's, go, let's do something like using JSON equals the name of the library, which I never seem to pronounce right and then JSON like this it will um, give us less headaches along the way anyways let's get started and the first thing we need to define a configuration structure that holds the data we want to save and load so in this example we'll use a simple structure with a few checkboxes and the slider value obviously you'll uh, customize it for your own project uh, but this is for now so let's do a struct and name it config or name it however you want and we're gonna do a checkbox one equals false a checkbox two and we'll do it this one true and then we're gonna go with a i don't know either value of 50 for an int variable so you can do numbers as well why not so this is the config now we move to the second the second segment of our video let's say we move to the save function so we'll create a function to save to the configuration file uh, so yeah let's go with that we're gonna do a quick void here let's name it save config and then let's get as a parameter the file name the file name we wish to save the config to so let's do something like constant let's do a string and name it file name open the void let's go json root make a root and then just take the the files like this so first of all we're gonna do for the checkbox take the valuables the values like this so checkbox one will be equal to the corresponding from the config um checkbox one i think if i do config 
like this checkbox one it will ask for a yeah non static member so what you're gonna do is create here a reference say config uniful or whatever and then you can go here and use uh cnf dot checkbox one it should work yeah okay same for second one actually i can just copy the first one it will go faster and then go root slider see slider value like this equals to cnf dot slider value all right <clears throat> now we need to create a file so we'll do something like std uh, offstream file and then obviously file name like this uh, let's see what it doesn't want here if you wish pretty stupid if you get this error uh, go back here just include file stream like this uh, it will work now so we have the the file and uh, let's continue now what we're gonna do is um, check if the file is open so we're just gonna do if we're gonna use the file we created file dot is open so if it's open we're gonna do file and then write to that file the root after that we're gonna close the file so file dot close and why not if you want here i'll put you with a comment you can see out a message like configuration save to and if you want the file name as well something like this file name and then you can end line if you wish or you can do this for the console for debugging whatever and if not you can do an else and you can throw an error like this sd ser and just say i know something like fail to save config configuration file anyways this is the save config pretty easy let's go to load the the config Let's go to loading the config. So at the next one, I'd say void load config. Again, we need the file name. So const string, so it's this string like this. And then file name again. And we're gonna use if string this time. Or oh, file name like this. And again, we will check if the file is open. If it's open, we're gonna go ahead and do a JSON root again. We're gonna dump the file into our root and then we're gonna close the file. That's all. And now we can actually analyze what we get. And I'll show you exactly how. Config.checkbox1. Here we fill the values. It's not config, it's CNF. I think we've done it. Yeah. Uh, here we fill and load the config. So we get each variable one by one and we load it. So cnf.checkbox1 will get the value of root.get. And we have first the name. So checkbox1. And then we have a false here, I think. And then dot as ball something like this should do the trick all right we're gonna change get to um, a value this will make it work and delete the as ball from here and uh, yeah, this should be perfect. Do the same for the others. So uh, checkbox two. I um, I thought of another library again. Sorry. And then we're gonna do for the slider value 
the same. So root that value, we get a value. Slider int, slider int, slider value, I think we named it. And then uh, false, boom, like this. So now uh, the variables took the uh, values from the file. All we have to do now is again, if you want to display a message, I'm not gonna do that. You can else here and display an error if it didn't work. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. No really need to do anything. And now the latest part of the video, I'd say, is um, creating the default configuration. So let's just do a void. Let's name it create default config and um, let's do a file name, why not? We're gonna name it default. You can use it if you want them to have a default config, you don't really need to have one because all you have to do here is give these the values in the structure as well. So these values are already there. You don't really need to do it again. Only if you want to have a default config to look nice, to be professional. Slider value equals whatever, 50. And then we're gonna do save config. We're gonna use our save config function. And we're gonna say whatever, file name. Boom. Now we have the three functions and I'll show you how to uh, use it, how to implement it very easily. And um, we'll do an example to see if it worked. I hope it worked. I hope it works. Anyways, let's go in our uh, window here. Why not? And perfect. Let's go. So right here, we're going to do the checkboxes. I have them copied here. I don't want to write them. We just paste them. Checkbox one, checkbox two, and slider value. We do cnf for this here we are adding them and then we're gonna do a button to so if i'm gui button let's uh, do save config first save config uh we're gonna do save config and the name will be config.json and the same, I'm gonna copy this button for load config. And again, just change this to load config.json. Obviously, if you want to change the name of the file, you will need an input here. And um, get a text input here. Ask the user to say the text and then use that text to get the name of the file. And if you want to have a custom path for the file as well, go back to the function where you save uh, the file here and um, to the file name, to the file name string, add your path before. So something like sd string final will be equal to, I don't know, c dot blah, blah, blah. And then plus your file name, another um, dash here and after that. So that's how you're gonna do a path and if you want here the name i just showed you the basics and let's run it let's see if it works it should work it's a very easy method we're also gonna find that config if we can i don't even know oh the image is above amazing uh, try not to do many things at once someone smart told me that let's go now i disabled the image from the tutorial before oh why are these things overlapped i don't know oh weird i'd say very weird because of this let's delete the things from our episode before we don't need them right now okay perfect so as you can see checkbox one is false checkbox two is um uh, true and the uh, slider value is at 50 so let's um, save a config like this and if we now 
enable this and set this to 20 when we click load config it should go back to the default value so click load config if you do an epic fail like i just did uh, don't worry it might happen on some c++ version it usually shouldn't but there is an easy fix so just go to your load config here and instead of using the root value method you can use an uh, alternative and just type root in uh, brackets the name so let's go checkbox one uh, dot get and then the variable type so it's going to be a ball we're going to use this so we're going to do this for the second one as well and for the third one I should have been more prepared. Slider value. And here, change it to int. So now, if we run the local Windows debugger, let's change the. We already saved the config, so let's change the checkbox. Let's turn this on as well and put the value to, I don't know, 22 or whatever. And we're gonna click load config, and boom, as you can see, the config loads correctly and if i save it to zero save it like this then, then disable this put it to 85 load config boom it works you can have multiple configs by having an input for the config name maybe having a list so you can uh, tell me if you want to see that as well something's bugging here because of the font but don't worry it's not going to happen to you uh, this was the tutorial uh, I want to apologize for some little mistakes, usually the script for the video was made with another library, then I switched to this one because it's um, uh, better, I guess, for beginners, and um, yeah, my mind played a little game with me today. Anyways, you have the code in the description, you have the library in the description, I hope you liked the video, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe, leave a like, join Discord. See ya.